to be learning how to make squid games and this is part three so i have a few things that i changed so i just made a variable called touching end and it's not said to anything right now uh because yeah and then in the backdrops i'm going to make so i i made the this little line here and that is the finish line and I made a new sprite. Oh wait, okay. Uh, you guys are not supposed to see this code. Uh, that was just code I was experimenting around with. Yeah. Mm, pretend you saw nothing. Okay. And it has the scratch cat that I modified a bit to make it look like that. And then it's when it's looking back which looks seriously creepy and hilarious um and they're called not looking and looking so yeah okay uh so i'm j we're just gonna jump right into the coding and today the goal is to finish red light green light all right so first of all let's start by programming this dude right here so let's do when green flag clicked uh when green flag clicked and set size to 50 his size is 50 right now your guys the size it might not be 50 but 50 is a good size and we also need to put a hide there hide and uh, also for this dude hide and i'm just gonna make it go to that position all right, also what I did was in the backdrop section, I made a little uh, hack, okay? And so when you press the key S uh, over here, it'll just skip the cutscene. It's just gonna skip the text and everything. And it's gonna jump right into the game. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we can do when I receive, when I receive RLGL, then we can wait three seconds, okay? Wait three seconds, and if, and then put in a forever loop, if key right arrow pressed key right pressed then we change x by 10 actually no we need to change x by 0 0.7 that's how slow we need the player to move because I'm, I'm i'm telling you guys that even this is fast believe it or not like oh wait i forgot to add the show I swear I added it. Okay. Uh, and that is not the right position either. Let's make it go to there. Okay. Boom. And yeah. Okay. Also, let's add a switch costume to costume one. And let's add a next costume but okay look see if we skip through that and we wait three seconds we can walk but we're walking like very very weirdly so let's add a wait wait 0 0.03 seconds we're just going way too fast like the animation is going way too fast so Okay, that's still way too fast. 0 0.07. Why not? Why sevens? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. They, they just always end up on a good number. Um, 
Yeah, but like now we can change this to like 1.5. Mm -hmm. And now we can do that. And there we go. That's actually pretty good. I'm not even going to lie. I love that a lot. It's derpy. And derpy is cool. Also, let's change this to negative 51. Wait, is that going to make him go higher or lower? Okay, yeah, lower. Okay. That's what I want. I just wanted to. I just wanted him to. Br I just wanted to bring him a little lower. Okay. Now we do the doll. So the doll is like the creepiest thing I've ever made. But we gotta add a show to that and switch costume to looking and do forever. Okay, wait. So see, this is where the touching end variable comes in. So we're gonna set touching end to no. And then we're gonna do forever if, and put equals to, and do touching end is equal to no. And guys, if you have a capital letter in your variable, so it's the N is capital in the no, then you have to make the N capital in the no here, or else it just won't work. Um, yeah, so if touching end is equal to no, then, we can wait. Oh wait, where is the wait? Oh, it's in the control. Okay, wait. Pick random, zero, uh, three to five seconds. Then we switch costume to looking. Oh, here should be not looking. And then we switch it to looking. And then we duplicate that. And we wait, pick random one to three seconds. And we switch it to not looking. And now, uh oh wait this is all in a when green flag click this should not be in a when green flag click this should be a when i receive rlgl okay my mistake there um but you can see both of them show and like it just randomly okay yeah um all right, so I'm going to make the cat go to like negative 35, like, cause like, I just want it to a bit, be a bit lower. And yeah, all right, so we have that part working, but so over here, what we can do for now is do, when I receive RLGL, forever if touching color and that sliver of green right there if he, if he's touching that color also just to make sure that he will touch that color where i'm going to move him even lower to negative 53 okay so if touching color green uh then we will just for now, just for this episode, do stop all. Next episode, we'll add another cutscene like this and make the next game, which is that weird honeycomb game, I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I haven't watched it. I haven't watched good games. But I don't intend I don't intend to either because, like, people say it's very violent. And I'm guessing it is because you die if you lose the game. Yeah. Okay, but we have all of this and okay, so we have to wait three seconds here before we can move, okay? And it's just weird when you can't move. So we're going to paint a sprite that's going to be like a little barrier from that stops you from moving. And it's going to be like, black and this is just going to stop you from moving uh, at the very beginning so if i play and i skip this okay so right there should be where it goes when green flag clicked go to there and hide 
when I receive RLGO, show, wait three seconds, and hide. There we go. And it then looks like that there's a barrier that we can, can't go past, but then when it disappears, we can go, and that happens. Now, when the doll is looking at us, we need to make sure that we die when everything is over. When, when, when we move, when it looks at us. That, if that makes any sense. Okay, um, but yeah, so what we can do is in the if key right arrow key press, so let's make another variable, okay? And let's call this looking, okay? And in over here, uh, we can set looking to yes here, and set looking to no there. Boom. And we can hide the touching end variable and also the looking variable. Why did I even reposition that? Okay. All right, so RLGL character, in there we need to do if, and then drag out a and. So if right arrow key pressed and do it equals to, and then do touch and now looking is equal to Yes. Oh wait, no, 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 Okay, wait, I just realized my mistake here. We need another RLG, we need another one I receive RLGO, and then put an if else loop inside of forever loop, and basically do that same thing right there. Okay, if you keep right arrow, key press, and looking is equal to yes, then we stop all. Um, yeah, uh, or else then we do nothing. Okay. And so now you gotta be really careful and see that the game stopped when I moved when it was looking at us. But okay, well, skip, skip. Okay. Um. Oh wait, oh no, 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 what just happened? Okay, I stopped the game somehow. All right. Wait. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. At the very beginning, we need to set looking to no. Okay. Uh, yeah. All right, so the game won't stop if you just press the right here. Oh, frick, it just looked at me. Okay. Uh, we are going to deal with the sound effects later. But that is basically the gist of how to make red light, green light. Um, yeah. Also, guys, I have not been... I know, if I haven't been explaining the tutorial properly, it's just because I, uh, I've been kind of sick because I got my COVID vaccine. You know, um... Uh, yeah so um uh, that's why i'm not feeling my best right now but i promise next episode i will be way better and yeah okay but guys that is it for this video if you enjoyed be sure to like subscribe hit that notification bell and i will see you guys next time so peace out